Hello, my name is Nick Smith. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my research, which involves the use of corpus data to explore language variation and change in English. I'll start with modality. That was the topic we explored in some depth in week five. Now, I've looked in some depth uh, and detail at the use of uh, obligation and necessity expressions like must, have to, got to, and need to, looking at register distributions, collocations, much as we did in week five, but going into more detail and trying to relate these changes to social factors that may be going on and underlying those changes. I'm also particularly keen to find out the extent to which language, language teaching materials keep pace with the, the very dramatic changes that we're finding in grammar, the grammatical system through the corpus evidence. And that's a very interesting ongoing area of research. Now, as well as the modality, we find there's very vigorous changes happening in the progressive in English. That's expressions like, um, I'm loving it, the McDonald's expression, uh, the train will be leaving at six, and so on. And quite a few of these, like the examples I've just given, are areas in which the progressive is used with verbs or in situations that aren't um, traditionally, we might say, seen as uh, friendly to the progressive. They tend not to uh, reflect the situation as being clearly seen as in progress or a dynamic verb at the time of speaking. Now, my most recent area of investigation is the use of spoken language material. And here I'm particularly looking at the use of speech archives and broadcast material in particular to see how we can trace uh, changes going on in contemporary English uh, with very high level of precision and relate those to the genres and registers that are used on broadcast media. And this is an area that I find very exciting. We can also look at the distributions of changes according to different kinds of speaker as well as changes within the registers themselves. So I hope you found that interesting and if you're interested try to look up some of the links that we've provided to explore corpus data in more detail yourself afterwards. Thank you.